Hey Fuzzy Picklers, it's Janice. Welcome to Fuzzy Pickle. Uh, it's I'm, it's pretty late. It's like 8.15 or something like that. I don't know what time. It's past 8 o'clock anyways. So this is my relaxed time. I've got ice cream on my face. It's a peel off mask. So, I got time to kill. I can't see anybody because I haven't got my glasses on. But, did everybody hear today that, um, Beth Chapman passed away, 51 years old, um, dog the bounty hunter's wife. She had died of lung cancer today. Um, so, prayers and blessings and love go out to um, her family. Um, it's sad to hear because I thought she was really going to make it. One tough chick right there, I thought she was going to make it. She fought two years. Oh, gave all the dogs, all three dogs, a bath. All the little ones. Tomorrow's is um, Minutes Lucky Day for a bath. <laughs> he's not going to like it, but he needs one. Um, even just because he's outside doesn't mean he, de he doesn't deserve a bath like everybody else. He does get a bath few times a year so he's getting a bath tomorrow he doesn't like him but and then he'll roll in the dirt and everything else right after he gets out of the nice fresh bath water <laughs> so yeah <laughs> he's gonna have fun so yeah this is my mask love it it um tightens up it shrinks your pores and I don't think I really have very big pores, but sometimes there's some days it looks like there is. And I was like, eh, let's do it anyways. So I got my um, bandana on my head. Got that pinned up. Got my hair pinned up so it doesn't touch it. I do my neck because I had leftovers. So I did my neck too. Yeah, so it's called Ice Queen. Perfectly posh, of course, of course. <laughs> um, it's not too much stuff I put on my face, but posh stuff because it's um, vegan. I'll put it on my face. Um, most of their stuff is vegan. Um, I don't know if this stuff is or not, but it just works good. It burns. It doesn't burn. It tingles like a... I can't describe it. It's not a burning sensation. It's like, like a real tingly, like... I don't know how to describe it. Something like that. Tingly sensation. So, uh, so that means after this I can put my lotion on. My lotions consist of coconut oil and vitamin E. That's it. That's what I do almost every night. I No, not almost. Every night that's what I do. Coconut oil and vitamin E. So, that's what I do every night. For it. That's my ritual every night. But, I do this like once every... Two or three months, I'll put a mask on, throw a mask on, and go, yay, call it a day. Oh, I did something fun for my skin. I do a lot of stuff for my my skin and my face, because I have dry skin. So, and it feels like, like sometimes you'll see it on my neck, it just shrill, it just dries up. Sometimes you'll see it down here, on my arms. And my doctor goes, are you allergic to something? And she, yeah, just about everything. I'm allergic to tomatoes. I have a um, EpiPen for my for my tomato allergy. Jeez, <laughs> I'm breaking down. <laughs> yeah, I had um, we had um, American chop suey two years ago, and I knew I was allergic to tomatoes because I break out in hives if I ate too much. So my husband and I would eat tomatoes like maybe um, two or three times a week, like in sauces. Figured that'd be all right, and they went from so my last allergy went from hives to my throat swelled up so bad I couldn't even breathe. So I had I have to carry an EpiPen now. So and I'm also allergic to bees, which will help if I get stung by if I need it, which I haven't gotten stung by a bee in a very 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 long time. So yeah, but my EpiPens are for my tomato allergies. So. Anything that touches a tomato 
could kill me. And I just stay away from tomatoes. I wear gloves, bus gloves, when I make salad or something for them. But I always have no tomatoes, no tomatoes, no tomatoes, no tomatoes, no tomatoes. And that is one of my favorite fruits in the whole world is tomatoes and avocados. Those are my two. And bananas. Well, bananas is my sweet fruit. But my tomato and my um, avocados are my savory fruits. So, yeah. So, it's been a pretty good day. It was warm today. And it felt good. Um, the dogs went outside. They came in running. They, they were running all day outside. They come inside to get a drink and run right back outside. <laughs> Saying, it's warm, yay! Because they, they don't have really long hair. They have pretty short hair. <laughs> so, they were pretty much in their glory today like I like I am. The humidity, I can handle New Hampshire humidity. It's the other states, Florida, you know, southern states, California, the western states. I can't do none of their humidity. I tried. I can't do it in New Hampshire. His humidity is totally different. So, and our humidity doesn't usually last very long up here either. When they say hot days, there's 90 degrees or 98 degrees with no humidity, it's not really that bad. I don't think it is, but a lot of people do. But I don't think it's that bad because I like warm weather anyways. Um, winter is not my forte. I hate winter. Well, except for when we go snowmobiling or we go to snowshoeing or, you know, stuff like that. Ice skating. Other than that, I hate winter. <laughs> we didn't go snowshoeing last year, but the, uh, the the year before that, and the year before that, and the year before that, we did because we got snowshoes that my husband bought me and Lydia for Christmas, and he already had his old fashioned one, the wood ones, with the leather straps. So he had his already. And we are we all we always go out. We always do something in the winter, but last winter we were just not. And you know something else too. Last winter, I didn't do anything. I didn't do a darn thing last winter, and I got sick as hell. But when I did go outside, like snowmobiling, or we went snowshoeing, or just being outside, making snowmen, I was fine. But last winter, I stayed in all winter. I didn't, the only time I ever went out was to take Lily to the bus stop and pick her butt up. That was it. I didn't do nothing else. So that could be the reason why I got so sick. So I'm not used to being inside. I'm, I'm usually it doesn't matter what season it is. I'm usually outside, even when it's raining or we're having a severe thunderstorm. I'm outside. <laughs> Thunderstorms don't bother me a bit. Nope, not one bit. So, yeah. I got one of those, um, what do you call those, strapless um, bras on, and it don't hold up much, and it don't cover much, so I'm not showing anything below, below this, so there you go, <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, it's been fun, Lydia, this is her third day off, I don't know why my finger did that, three days, her third official day off of school. Yay! We are almost made it through the whole week. And we're doing pretty good. Usually she gets grumpy because she misses the kids at school. She misses school altogether. She misses learning. But she tells her to sit down and read a book here. Oh, no way! Summer vacation! So, so we're going to start picking up running. First, got to start walking around more. Then I'm going to pick up running with um, Lydia because she wants to be on track next year. So we'll see how that goes next year. See how she, she likes it. She might not like it. See, I used to do all kinds of sports. I used to do track and field. I used to play um, field hockey. I used to play basketball, softball, um, touch football, all kinds of things. I uh, Just all kinds of sports I used to play in. And none of my kids are into that. None of them. I don't think any of them do sports. They're all girls. <laughs> well, except for my son. I don't know if he did sports or not. Because his father raised him. But 
All my girls are girly girls. Yep. I don't know why either. Because I was a tomboy growing up. Still am. I still wear jeans and t shirt. So. I do, and I still do climb trees, and I still do cartwheels, and I do a lot of things <laughs> that people my age don't do. I know, I can even walk on my knees. I know. That's weird, too. My daughter keeps telling me, my youngest one keeps telling me, she goes, Mother, walk on your knees, so I'll walk on my knees. She goes, that is so cool. How do you do that? So, one of these days, I'll show you all how it's done. <laughs> And I can do a cartwheel too. Woohoo! <laughs> I can do a one handed cartwheel. I used to be able to do no hands, but I'm not as brave as I used to be. I'm afraid I might break a hip or something. <laughs> so I do a one handed cartwheel. Uh, great. Uh, so, yep, today is Wednesday, June 26th. 2019 and I hope you all had a wonderful day today I know I did I'm enjoying life a heck of a lot more I don't take life seriously well I really never really did because life is fun you can't be serious all the time right I know my husband seems to be serious like 90% of the time. Life is too short and life is supposed to be fun. Even at, at work is supposed to be fun. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I worked all my life. Well, most of it anyways. From 14 until um, 10 years ago, 11 years ago now. Because since Lydia's 11. So, so 11 years I've been out of work. But I still work. I still do. This porch, I help build. Yes, I do. Yes, I did. I know how to operate all the machinery that we use to cut the boards. And I know how to use a tape measure. I know how to use a hammer. I know what a nail is. I know what a finishing nail is. I know what a... Uh, we even did our metal roof. Yep. And did the shingling on this roof over here. I mean, come on. So, yeah, I do a lot of work around here. Besides cleaning and cooking. Well, I don't cook anymore like I used to because... My diet's totally different from theirs. So, but I do a, all the cleaning. So, and like I said, I am not a morning person, so I will rant and rave in the morning. I will, oh my goodness, I will, you can't pick up nothing. You guys can't do shit around here. I will rave in the morning. Oh, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I am not a morning person, but I do get up in the morning, 4 a.m. every morning. Mm-hmm. Can't sleep beyond that. The dogs won't let me. <laughs> and besides, when I quit smoking over five months ago now, um, I've been going to bed, you know, early to me is like 11, 12 o'clock. I go to bed early and I get up at 4. I, I, I'm the kind of person that needs like um, three to four hours sleep, two to four hours sleep. You know, as long as I got some sleep, I can function. But if I don't get any sleep, I just get, like, just leave me alone. I've stayed up for, like, um, 72 hours one time. I will never do that again. That was a challenge for myself, but I will never do that again. 24 hours I can do with no problem. But beyond that, it's like, mm, nope, I need my sleep. But I get two to four hours worth of sleep a night. So, yeah. It doesn't seem to bother me. Unlike some people that need 8, 9, 10, 12, 15, 16 hours a day. <laughs> a night and a day. I don't need that much sleep. No, I do not take naps during the day. God, I wish I could, but I can't because I'm afraid I'm going to miss something. That's why I'm going to live to be 98 plus years old. Because I, I'm the kind of person that's afraid she's going to miss something. And then I'll be pissed. <laughs> If I miss it, so there you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I gotta get this mask off. And 
I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful night. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Late.